Oh. Alright, so I was planning on telling Getter what I was programming this week with this one problem that I ran into. So it has to do with WebP images. Getter, do you know what a WebP image is? I do not. <laughs> well, a WebP image is this random format. Well, it's not random. A lot of sites are starting to use it that Google came out with that's supposed to be, say, more compressed than a JPEG file or a PNG file. AKA, it's really good if you want it to load fast for your website. And if you run any like test on your website, Google's gonna be like, hey, you should use WebP because it loads faster and all, all that. How does it load anyway, faster if it's smaller? Don't you need to uncompress it or something? No, no, no like the image size itself. Like maybe so the a image JPEG, is just smaller? Yeah, the, maybe the JPEG's 10 kilobytes and this is like five kilobytes, right? Okay. But the pro here's the problem with it. Not every browser supports it. That's, see, that's the nightmare with web development is half of browsers don't support the thing that you want to do. Well, don't all the good ones use it? Is it just like Edge? Well, and IE? well here's the problem. Uh, with this particular one, Chrome uses it. Firefox, I believe, so, so Google owns Chrome, so of course Chrome supports all the Google stuff. Firefox, I believe, supports it, but the big one that does not support it is Safari. And now, uh. Safari is not like a giant portion of the pie for desktop, but it is a giant portion of the pie for mobile. Basically, iOS users use Safari. So here's the problem, right? So for Saffron, we're loading in images from people's blogs. And those images are sometimes WebP files. So what was happening is in my React Native app, only on iOS, uh, the image would not be loading because it's coming from WebP. Uh, and so that caused a problem. And so basically what I had to do was load it onto my server, the image that is. And this is to say also, there's like different image providers you can use. The one I'm currently using um, to like do transformations and stuff is called Imagex. Um, Cloudinary is another good one, which I don't know if it supports WebP conversions, but Imagex, for whatever reason, you can convert JPEGs to WebP files. Like you can say what format you want the file to be loaded in. So I told Imagex to convert the WebP file to say a JPEG so it will load just fine on React Native. But for whatever reason, they do not support that. Um, they only support going from JPEG to Web to WebP, not the other way around. Um, so what I had to do was basically I load this the image on my server. I pipe it through. Uh, this is something I recently learned actually was getting used to pipes in Node where you can like pipe data and create like a little pipeline. So I have this little pipeline where basically I load the image and that's like the start of the pipe as bytes start coming in. Um, the byte, I have a sharp, I'm using a sharp library. It's called, the library is called sharp. That creates another pipeline which converts things to JPEG if it's a WebP and then that uploads it to Google Cloud uh, storage. That's another thing, I actually recently switched over to Google Cloud to store images. I had been storing on S3, but I randomly t like tested uh, upload speeds. For whatever reason, AWS's S3 took like, I don't know, like seven seconds or something to upload an image, where uploading to Google took like, I don't know, like a second. So it was way faster. I thought I had something wrong with my process. I don't, I don't know what was going on there. Anyway, uh, so that, that that's what I did. I swapped it over so the WebP now just gets uploaded as a JPEG uh, because my program, Imagex, Imagex is the thing they have that sits in front of Google Cloud and serves all the images um, and allows me to do transformations on it. Like, for example, if I want different sizes, but it doesn't handle that, so I had to do that. So now are you using both or did you replace Imagex? No, I'm still using Imagex because, like, on my website, I want different sized images than on the phone. Um, so Imagex, like, gives me different sizes. It also compresses the images for me. I was doing compression on my server before, but I decided to just push it to them. Um, so that's that.